I made a video about a month ago detailing the early struggles of Wizards 10th overall pick Johnny Davis. At the time, the Wizards were 65 games into their season, and their lottery pick had played only 62 total minutes. He had spent most of the season in the G League, and despite the Wizards being out of the playoff picture for most of the year, he still couldn't crack the Wizards rotation. It looked gloomy, and my video compared him with some of the worst lottery picks in NBA history. I never said he was the worst, but did float the question out there. However, he's been given a starting role with the Wizards going full tank mode to end the season, and he's looked really good. The question is starting to look ridiculous to even ask, and he's trending in an upwards direction. Since the video came out, his role has completely changed, and he's played 283 minutes in the 13 games since. Over his last 6 games, Davis is averaging 15 points and 6 rebounds per game. He's also dropped 20 in back-to-back -back games, and has looked like one of the Wizards' best players over the span. I've been really impressed, and I said I hoped he would prove me wrong in the last video, and he's doing that right now. Johnny Davis might not be a bust after all, and right now he actually looks really good. To truly understand how impressive the turnaround is we've seen from Davis, let's take a look at his early season struggles compared to his recent play. Before we get into the Johnny Davis turnaround, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watch me before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. Let's talk about Johnny Davis as a draft prospect before we look at anything else. He was a 3 star recruit out of high school and the 40th ranked player in his class. He committed to Wisconsin, but let me be blunt here, when he signed there, no one expected him to become an NBA draft pick. And in his freshman season, he played to about what you might have expected. Didn't start any games, but was a key role player, scoring 7 points a game in about 24 minutes per. He still wasn't on anybody's draft boards. However, he exploded as a sophomore, averaging 20 points and 8 rebounds per game. He was a consensus All-American and one of the top players in all of college basketball. This second season got the attention of NBA draft scouts. He was lauded for his rebounding as a guard, and his defensive ability, as well as the impressive scoring from mid-range, he showed off as a sophomore. However, many likely should have been more concerned about the efficiencies, as he shot only 43% from the field and 31% from three. He was seen as a consensus top 11 selection by NBC, Sports Illustrated, CBS, and even NBA.com's mock drafts. The Wizards didn't reach on him by other experts' projections, but early on with the Wizards he just wasn't producing at all. Now let's look at the early season struggles that led me to make the previous video. Davis struggled with efficiency in his debut summer league, and then also reportedly had some concerning play in training camp as well. In the Wizards' first 65 games, Davis only played 62 total minutes for the team, yet this wasn't due to injury. He appeared in only 13 of those games, and averaged just 1.2 points per game. He shot just 33% from the field and 25% from three. The level of play was concerning, but we'd very rarely seen a lottery pick get this little of a chance. The Wizards had very thin guard depth, but despite that, the team was still practically refusing to play him. However, there were signs of a turnaround brewing in the G League from after the All-Star break to early March. He'd been better in the G League, averaging 18 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal per game in 6 games over that span. He also shot 49% from the field and 45% from 3 on 5 attempts per game. He was still a good rebounder and can be a good defender. I think this stretch gave him the confidence to be able to turn it around when given more opportunity. Let's take a look at how he's turned it around since my last video came out. In his 13 games since it was released, Davis has played a total of 283 minutes, nearly 5 times as many as in the Wizards' 65 games prior. The team clearly took notice of his G League play and decided they should give him a real shot in the pros. Hey, maybe he saw my video and used it to fuel him to be better, but whatever it was, he has looked like a completely different player. Rather than looking at those 13 games as a whole, let's take a look at his last 6, because that's where the team has really spiked up his minutes. 
In that span, he's been given 31 minutes per game, and heavy usage. He's averaged 15 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, and a block per game. The efficiency still hasn't been phenomenal at 45% from the field and 32% from 3, but it's going up, which is a step in the right direction. He had a highlight that went kind of viral, where he had a Jordan-esque hanging reverse layup. People were using the clip to call him an NPC, and that the NBA was more talented now because anyone can do stuff like that. However, rather than an indictment or using it as a pawn, I was just really impressed. He has the composure and patience of an NBA veteran, and he's looking more confident by the game, trying more and more difficult shots like this one. He's still an unbelievable rebounder for a guard, and his 6 per game over the span put him in an upper tier of rebounding guards like Josh Hart. He's looked like the scorer that we saw last year at Wisconsin, and his play as of late is taking him from a potential career G-leaguer to a key member of the Wizards going forward. Davis is a strong, physical guard who uses his body to attack the rim, finish through contact, and get rebounds. Over halfway through his rookie season, 10th overall pick Johnny Davis has played only 62 NBA minutes, and looked like a bust and potential career G-leaguer. Many had already given up on him, and I made a video being skeptical about his future. However, I was wrong. He's completely turning it around as of late. He was already a great defender and rebounder, those skills weren't going to go away. The thing he needed most was honestly just a chance. He's been given over 30 minutes per game over his last 6, and has performed really well. He's averaged 15 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, and a block per game. He's been arguably the Wizards' best player over the span, and is completely turning his career around. It's hard to completely believe players' performances in the final stretch of the season due to many teams tanking and running out bad lineups. It's been referred to as the Josh Jackson effect. However, I've still been really impressed with Davis. The most important thing to me is improved confidence, and he's taking the shots we saw him take last year at Wisconsin, and is even having some nice highlights. He's a tough, physical guard who can be a great defender, finish through contact at the rim, and be one of the league's best rebounding guards. His potential is still very high, and he's only 21 years old. He's not a bust or a bad pick, all he needed was a chance. I was wrong about Johnny Davis. Congrats, Johnny. I'm still rooting for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.